He had a flair for the theatrical. He was always looking for the next big thing. He was ambitious, and he had an amazing imagination. L. Frank Baum was literally a rainbow chaser. He went from one profession to another, and he failed at almost everything but writing children's books. No one was expecting The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. There was nothing on the market quite like it. It was not typical of the children's books being published at that time. In every other fairy tale, the heroine has to marry the prince. Baum did not see gender the way a lot of people of his time saw gender. That was a pretty revolutionary thing. The voice of Dorothy, the confidence, figuring out how to solve problems when the men around her are dissembling. Dorothy really set the stage for little girls getting out of the house and going on adventures the way that boys do. Every generation reinterprets the story based upon what their experiences are. It's a story that can be adapted to a different cultural setting, to a different time and place, without really losing the fundamental idea. This is our national fairy tale. I think for Baum, the fact that Oz does exist beyond him was the best success he could hope for. And there is this power in Baum's invention that speaks to children today as clearly as it did back in 1900.